tons of gold crypto investing and we can see here in this evening update after bowling update where it's the first week of 32 week week here in the bloomington open we had an up and down week we had about 11 splits so that doesn't help the statistics but i don't know how they're doing this because nobody had a handicap for my bowlers out there it was a straight up uh five verse five and then they're waiting three weeks to put a handicap in there so i don't know how that all works out but our team did manage to squeak out a game uh because our team without handicap is going to be at a disadvantage right but old vincenzo on a struggling off week hit for my bowling fans out there a 189 or 177 and a 236 i believe uh 195 average it was an off week the ball Lots and lots of splits. Should have just tanked the third game in the seventh, eighth, and ninth frame because we couldn't win without handicap that game. And I should have just let the 30 pins slide, finished with a 195, and lowered my average by 10 pins. Right? You know, got to think about that. But I'm with bigger and better things. We can see the Bitcoin price did do exactly what we were watching out for. And it took a little bit longer because I got, I got burnt trying to ride this down uh, last week on. But it did get rejected and then see right here it did a classic little signature right here look what happens when we go to the click in the hill you know, and go to the hour time frame look at this right here this was the classic rejection so we come way up here on a big massive pump right this is what fucked me right there that last pump getting that high and then we had an immediate sell off and then i should have been smarter here because it had that immediate let's get rid of that it had the immediate sell-off right here, but it critically got below that uptrending yellow line that it needed to hold that support, got supported on the 200 day, and then got immediately rejected, came back down, right, slightly below the 200 day, threatening to collapse, and then it had a massive rally right here and got immediately rejected by this uptrending upper resistance in this bear flag that we're in, and now it's sold off quite dramatically since then. And I should have been smart enough to play this as soon as I seen two days ago in the morning when it got rejected off of that. And now it's continued down and in an up and down fashion. After probably what usually happens now is you have a nice little run like that comes back up into the moving averages, the moving averages, and then you come down. But we are coming down to this 21,293 like we've been watching for by this red arrow. And we've been keeping you updated at Twitter at a glance. Old Vincenzo at Twitter at a glance and if we zoom out before we move on that's the bear flag we're talking about you can see we had a mountain double top right here and where this circle is this is where old vincenzo if you look back in my history near the beginning of my channel we called for a multi or bear market right there in that circle this was your mountain double top on a massive bear market rally right here and now we diagnose this double top which gives you a targeted move of 13,336 we had our, our initial fall in red here is when the Fed started to tighten. We had we had our initial fall right there. Let's get rid of that. We don't want that up there. We had our initial fall coinciding with the Fed tightening, came down, and we formed our first bear flag and broke down out of that like you should technically. And then we formed our second bear flag and then broke down out of that. And you can see we're currently in our third bear flag. And the targeted move out of this bear flag right here, and you do targeted moves from the top of the pole to the bottom to the point of a breakout, it gets you right to 13,336. And that's where our mountain double top targeted move is. And that coincides beautifully with right here in Bitcoin. And you can see we've had this 13,336 Bitcoin price target uh, prediction made when BTC was 63,336. And rising, you can watch any video over the last 13 months, and that target has constantly been down there. When we were up here, when we were here, when we were here, when we were here, when we were here. Actually, it started right here when we seen this double top coming. It started about right there is when we made the prediction, October, November of 2021. And any video since then that has been there, even when we pumped up, even when we pumped back up, it's been there since then. Check them all out from. November, December 2021 through current time frame. Those videos are there. And we've been letting you know the same thing with XRP. We've had our underneath target down there of 18 to 20 cents based off of this 12 and a half month symmetrical triangle that we were in 
off of this big bull run in our uh, our bull run after our two year bear market from the 2017 to early 2000, 2016 to early 2017, all time highs of three dollars and 30, 40, 50 cents in XRP. But we told you back in this area right here what we were in. We had descending upper resistance and uptrending lower support with a 90 degree angle entry, which is a symmetrical triangle and it's a neutral continuation pattern. But old Vincenzo thought it was going to break down and we had an 18 to 20 cent target. And we are going to get there in this orange zone. The last line of defense is your start of your accumulation, right? And then the shit house in red is your max accumulation zone, right? If you believe in XRP, the shit house is your golden pocket, your golden nugget for eventually after a bear market comes down into here, this range. If you get down into the shit house, you have to do mass accumulation and you buy it at eight, nine, 10, 11 cents and you ride it up back to a dollar, dollar fifty. And that's how you get your thousand X return. And that's eventually what's going to happen in XRP. But in the short term, in the micro time frame, if we zoom into the micro micro time frame in the 15 minute, you can see we finally got rejected and we got rejected harshly by this uh, 37 cent upper resistance. We broke that 200 day with the mini volume spike and a power move in the price action. And now what's most likely to happen is you find a consolidation up here and then you continue to get rejected and you trade on down towards that 30 to 32 cents in XRP that we've been waiting on. And we've been not waiting on, but we've been warning of if you didn't get a confirmed breakout up here that eventually you were going to either come way up to that 48 cent range or if you broke down, you're going to eventually trading in an up and down fashion. You're going to end up down there for a reset in a regional local uh, consolidation supply zone. Like, subscribe and share. Peace and love. Peace and love.